Plus business portfolio from film to TV production to holding the largest music catalog in the world to leading in game with PlayStation and of course mobile. And all of this is underpinned by a commitment to innovation and technology. We are obsessed with anticipating the needs of our customers and are in constant dialogue with professionals each and every day. From the customer's consumption preferences to solving for pain points on the creator side, we gain insights to deliver things that Sony fans never even knew they needed. And we continue to lead the industry by enabling the absolute best visual experience using the most capable tools. Quality of image sensors has made Sony the leading sensor provider to several key markets. Last year alone, Sony shipped 1.3 billion image sensors to leading smartphone manufacturers. In fact, more than half of smartphones on planet Earth have a Sony image sensor in their camera. Today, our sensor expertise is driving convergence of the digital imaging market and the professional industry. Great capacities and better form factors are enabling the heights of quality, enabling new quality, such as our Alpha 7 to the epic Venice camera, where we empower users to create with new levels of realism. So why do we care so much about connecting creators with users? We call it building communities of interest, building Sony fans. And there's no better representation of this than our very own imaging team. We're listening to our community, and we continue to break boundaries and push limits with the more than 40 million followers we have collectively. And what's the business result from this? Sony is the number one selling brand of full-frame interchangeable lens cameras for the last 20 months in both units and in dollars. So if I can leave you with one core message, it would be that we have achieved this leadership position by listening to the community and innovating to exceed their expectations. And the gentleman that translates all of those insights into innovation in the imaging industry is here with us today, direct from Tokyo, Japan. Please welcome my colleague, worldwide head of Alpha Business, Kenji Tanaka. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. I am Kenji Tanaka. I oversee uh, the IOC, uh, Interchangeable Lens Camera Business for Sony. Today, I would like to update you on Sony's strategy for these amazing uh, products. But first, I'd like to explain the changes in today's IOC market and Sony's business situation. In the digital imaging industry, there is a massively growing segment. Does anyone have any idea what this graph uh, indicates? Uh, yes, everyone here knows it is mirrorless cameras. And today, the IOC market is in the middle of rapid structural change from digital SLR to mirrorless, the greatest change since the digitization of cameras. A chart A on the left side shows the component ratio of mirrorless cameras in the total IOC market. A chart B on the right shows the component ratio of mirrorless cameras in the full-frame segment. 
as the shift toward mirrorless is obvious and accelerating. In the first half of 2019, more than 60% of the market has been occupied by mirrors on an amount basis, both in full frame and total IRC. In the growing mirrorless market, Sony has maintained the global number one share for nine consecutive years uh, since 2010. And in a full frame uh, segment, uh, Sony achieved the global number one share for the first time in 2018 and has held the lead uh, this year today. Our business expansion of roof frame mirrors has been driven by innovations. In particular, AI powered real time image recognition and the subject tracking technologies are the ones that are mostly are most widely recognized. Real time IF and real time tracking. Those AI technologies have dramatically changed our imaging experiences. In addition to speed, as Sony believes, lens, image quality, value of life, compactness, and lightweight are the most essential value for mirrorless systems. We have developed cameras and lenses with industry leading technology. And based on this concept, we call the five fundamentals. In these ways, AI and the five fundamentals today enjoy the support of a large and increasing number of customers, including professionals. The Alpha 9 is a symbol of our innovations. It's our flagship model that symbolize the, the comparable speed and revolutionary AF systems. It has transformed the experience of professional sports and news photography. And today, I'm proud to introduce a different kind of monster. It's a new full-frame scanner just further expands the world of alpha through innovation. The establishes another milestone in the history of mirrors.
Alpha Sigma Mark IV is a full frame camera that delivers medium format level image quality. Combined with a high speed performance and a lightweight compact body. 52. 52 of our mirrorless native lenses can be used with this camera without the mount adapter. One mount. That is the uniqueness that only Sony's E mount delivers from full frame to APC, from stills to cinema, professional to consumers. One single mount connects a wide range of customers, usages, of formats, cameras, and lenses. The E mount is a common platform for creators across the world. Through the E-Mount, we will further expand the world where creators are able to realize new and extraordinary levels of inspiration and expression for images. We are committed to innovating the future of amazing. Okay, now I will and things off uh, to my colleague, Professor Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for that exciting introduction of Alpha 7R Mark IV. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Any of you expecting that one? Uh, so we're, we're all about surprises here. So I will tell you some more about it. But um, A7R Mark IV is what we consider to be another milestone, and quite a milestone it is. So I want to tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, I'm going to focus on the highlights, um, but we have plenty of time to go into great detail later on. Uh, but we just wanted to touch upon what makes this such an amazing evolution in our R series. It sets new standards of image quality, but not just image quality, also operability. And again, it's to give creators new opportunities. That's what we're all about with our new products. So it's the evolution of R with an all new image sensor, 61 effective megapixels. It's our first update in the R series since, uh, from an image sensor standpoint since 2015. You may remember when we launched G Master in 2016, we told you about how we knew what the future of image sensor and camera performance was all about, and this is a perfect example of that. It reaches new heights in terms of performance and image quality with this new image sensor. But it's more than just higher resolution. Of course, it's an R series camera, R for resolution, but it's more than just that. The imagers low noise construction. Remember, it's a new generation of image sensor for us, and every time we introduce a new one, we reach new heights in performance. But this low noise uh, construction, it's backside illuminated, together with our latest Beyond's X processor uh, improvements, reaches 15 stops of dynamic range. This is an excellent example of what Alpha 7R Mark IV can do. Okay, it's a beautiful image. Obviously, we're constrained with what we can put on a television screen, even though it's 4K. But take a look at this. With this kind of resolution, even the finest details of the model's eyelashes are faithfully recorded. So resolution to spare is what Alpha 7R Mark IV provides. Here's another example. But in this case, not just resolving power, but let us show you the kind of dynamic range this sensor is capable of. So take a look at this. Take a look at the extraordinary range from shadow to highlight, all captured with unprecedented detail. This is the kind of image quality that you can get from this camera. But for even more incredible results, 
How about more resolution? Our pixel shift multi-shooting mode, first introduced in Alpha 7 R Mark III, has been evolved to create images of up to 240 million pixels. So this image that you see here was created from 16 captures, 16 sequential captures, each one which has been shifted by a half a pixel increment to create 963 million pixels of data. And that's assembled in our Imaging Edge desktop application to create an image file of 240 million pixels. This kind of detail, this kind of color accuracy is simply not possible from other cameras. So when Kenji-san says, talks about medium format in a full frame camera, this is the kind of goal that we wanted to achieve, another level of performance in an easy to handle camera. With 61 million pixels to work with in full frame mode, just imagine what you can do in APS-C crop mode. Well, for those who use APS-C crop for extra reach, Alpha 7R's Mark IV sets a new standard. Highest resolution APS-C size capture today, 26 million pixels in APS-C crop. And it's not just the resolution. Imagine what you can do when you have a full frame sensor that you're cropping to APS-C. Take a look at what happens to the focusing system. So in the next slide, we're gonna show you Alpha 7R Mark IV has 567 phase AF points covering 74% in full frame mode. But in this image, we're showing you what it can do in APS-C. 325 of those sensors cover the APS-C area, essentially providing coverage across the entire frame. More than 100% vertical, almost 100% horizontal. Imagine a focusing system that can focus on any point in the frame. And that's what we can do with this new image sensor and our focusing system. So there's 567 points in full frame, but 325 in APS-C, and now, probably for the very first time, you can cover every element of the frame with focus. This new imager is the world's first 61 megapixel full frame image sensor, and it provides this camera with image quality rivaling medium format, but in the convenient size of an Alpha 7 series camera. Size, weight, that everybody has come to enjoy in our Alpha 7 series, this kind of performance in that kind of affordability and ease of use. But Alpha 7R Mark IV is more than another milestone in image quality. It's also an evolution in speed. And we wanted to be able to create that unique combination of image quality and responsiveness that's really available in no other fashion. And that's really the magic of this camera. For the very first time, the decisive moment can be captured with unrivaled image quality because Alpha 7R Mark IV has the power to capture 61 megapixel images at 10 frames per second continuously. And it can do that with continuous autofocus and continuous auto exposure tracking, up to 68 images. What do you think about that? surprising to But capturing the decisive moment is now at a whole different level from what it's been before. Speed, yes. Image quality, yes. The powerful combination of the two to elect creators do things that they may never have been able to do before. And A7R Mark IV includes some of our very latest AI-enhanced real-time tracking AF and real-time IAF uh, to effortlessly maintain focus on rapidly moving subjects. Some of our very, very latest technologies, first seen in Alpha 9, are now in A7R Mark IV. And as we'll see in this next short clip, you'll see its tracking capability on rapidly moving subjects. 
So this is the same type of real-time tracking and real-time IKF <coughs> that in our, uh, is in the A9, Alpha 9, but now in an R-series camera for the first time. And it's not just real-time IAF for humans, it's also real-time IAF for animals as well. Your pet never had it today. <laughs> not just, um, as you would expect, Alpha 7R Mark IV is not just about still photography, it's also about video capture as well. And we imbued it with some of our very, very latest technology. Take a look. Just a quick rundown Ooh. of many of the things that we've uh, evolved uh, recently. Uh, we have full width of the sensor capture as well as APS-C crop. 6K, uh, oversampled 6K frames to make 4K. Uh, we have touch tracking for <coughs> video. So we have real-time uh, tracking AF for video with touch tracking on the LCD. Of course, um, uh, S-Log2 and S-Log3 for 14 stop dynamic range capture and hybrid lock gamma for one step HDR. All of this, of course, in Alpha 7 R Mark IV. But there's more. Alpha 7 R, yes there is. There's actually more. <laughs> Alpha 7 R Mark IV includes a revolution in video autofocus. Uh, real time IAF for movies. What? <laughs> For the first time in a Sony camera, we have real our real-time IAF tracking capability in video. And you'll see a very short clip that we'll show you now of it working in real, in real time. Unfortunately, we only have about a five-second clip for it. But take a look. In movies. Now, real-time IAF. What do you think of that? Alpha 7 R Mark IV becomes our, our very first camera to offer this capability. There is more. Alpha 7 R Mark IV also includes another revolution, this time in audio. For the first time, we have a digital audio interface between the microphone and the camera. Thanks to a new microphone that we're about to show you, which has its own AD converter in it, and the enhanced multi-interface shoe that appears for the first time on Alpha 7R Mark IV. So conventional microphones are analog devices, and they send an analog signal into the camera, and then the camera has an analog to digital converter in it to record audio in a digital video format. We changed the game, however, with Alpha 7R Mark IV. I can't see that. We have a new microphone that we'll show you in just a moment that transfers a digital audio signal through Alpha 7R Mark IV's newly designed multi-interface shoe for high quality sound recording. Nice. That's right, a digital signal all the way into the recording stage of the camera for the very first time. So that's uh, a brief coverage of some of the highlights of A7R Mark IV. There are so many other things that we want to tell you about over time constraint, but we wouldn't be complete if we didn't tell you about the enhancements we put into the camera to make it a reliable, even more reliable, professional tool for both videographers and photographers. Just a quick um, handful of them. Dual UHS-2 card slots by popular demand. Um, <laughs> finally, uh, we find focus control, uh, a newly designed uh, key layout, as well as some newly designed keys, 5.76 million dot bullet eye level viewfinder, a completely redesigned grip, thanks to all of uh, the input we've received from our end users for in improved holding, uh, improved sealing, and rugged magnesium alloy chassis just some of the improvements. As for productivity, this will be our first camera with 2.4 and 5 gig hertz Wi-Fi for wireless tethering, PC remote, a USB 3.2 connector, 
new imaging app, uh, edge application for the desktop and more. So a lot of work has gone into making the productivity greater for the working pro. And here's a brief summary of the camera. Everybody take notes, there'll be a test, okay? But all of this technology, all of this groundbreaking technology of combining uh, the imaging um, quality, quality and performance together with the speed, all of this will be introduced in September and it'll be priced at 3,500 US, 4,500 Canadian. What do you think of that? So, very much, Alpha 7R Mark IV is another milestone in our Alpha series. Thank you for your um, welcome to a new member of the family. But, we also have a couple of new accessories to talk to you about very quickly. Uh, to mirror the uh, new grip design of the camera, we have a new vertical grip as well, the VGC 4EM will also be introduced in September, and this will be positioned at 400 US and 530 in Canada. So again, uh, VGC 4EM has the same kind of attributes as in our other vertical grips, allows the camera to have two batteries for extended power, uh, and of course, all of the controls are um, mirrored for vertical uh, for the shoot. And now for the microphone, because this is really cool. As far as I know, this is one of the very few, if, if any, that exists in the world. To deliver premium sound with a digital audio signal. So this microphone changes the game with our digital audio technology, something that we have at Sony that few, if any, camera manufacturers can really enjoy. So we have a short video to show you, to tell you about the technology, because it's so different and so new. So in this video, you're gonna see not only the digital audio interface, but a newly designed microphone that uses eight pickups to realize extreme directionality in a microphone that's only four inches long. A typical shotgun like this is almost 12 inches long. Built-in DSP to allow compact system use without having a very long microphone. It has comprehensive controls particularly the user adjustable directionality pattern. Three different patterns that you can uh, choose, super directional, unidirectional, and omnidirectional. Again, eight capsules in the top of the microphone that are all managed through the DSP inside the microphone. But the best part about it is it has a built-in analog to digital converter to send a digital audio signal into the camera. Camera receives it through the multi-interface shoe, and it's recorded digitally to the video codec right inside the camera. So from the microphone right into the record stage of the camera, it's 100% digital. So ECM B1M will be introduced in September, and this will be positioned at 350 in the US and 470 in Canada. What do you think of that? that is? <laughs> To uh, the, this microphone, um, as well as another one that we're about to show you, has a switch to allow you to send a digital signal or an analog signal to the camera. Uh, this is our first camera, and as far as we know, perhaps probably the only camera, uh, that has um, a digital audio interface input. So, anyway, so that's the uh, ECM B1M. And then we'll also revise our XLR mic adapter kit with the XLR K3M. So this, again, an analog signal <coughs> from the microphone, and it has a built-in analog to digital converter, so it can send a digital signal to the digital multi-interface shoe in the Alpha 7 r 4 So this microphone kit also has XLR connectors and TRS connectors, as well as an analog output through a 3.5 millimeter jack if you for extended versatility. This can also be mounted to the shoe. It can also uh, has a connecting cable, so it can be mounted off the shoe if you prefer. So XLR KM is coming in October, and this will be positioned at $600 and $800 can be with So what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, with these new innovations in technology, we really want to offer new opportunities and expand what creators can do. So anyway, thanks very much for your attention, and I'm going to ask Mike to come back up for some closing remarks. Thank you very much. Pretty solid Great. announcement. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Kenji. And most of all, a special thank you to all of you here with us today, as well as all of you out watching online. I hope you are as excited as we are about today's groundbreaking announcements, and I commit to you, on behalf of all of Sony, we will continue to listen, and we will continue to innovate and take pain points out of, out of the creative process so you can do what you all do so very well. I leave you with this. Be bold. Be different. Be out. Thank you all, and goodbye. For those of you who are in the room, I'm going to ask Matt Parnell to come up and talk to you about the next chapter in today's event. Matt? Thanks, Mike. How's everybody doing? Good. So I have some exciting news to share with everyone in this room. All of you guys will be among the first in the world to get your hands on this new camera. How do you all feel about that?